Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Melissa from the Top Drawer RVA and today's painting journey is all about steampunk. As always, begin by removing the hardware and clean your piece thoroughly inside and out with white lightning. Would you bend moldings are like jewelry for your furniture. They're easy to use, bendable, stainable, and paintable. All you need to do is heat up the back, apply your wood glue, and adhere them to your piece. Then you can heat them one more time to ensure that they're flat. This piece actually only has two drawers, but I wanted each individual drawer on the front to look like one. So by adding little pieces of wood you bend and then stencils and transfers, I'll be able to make each drawer look like an apothecary style table. Finally, ready for paint. What I want to do is use my best dang brush. So in order to use my best dang brush, I need to have a dry first coat down. I'm going to mix a couple colors together just to get a nice deep base. This also lets me make sure that each individual wood you bend is covered in paint. I find that using my best dang brush is the best way to get a kind of natural ombre blend. You can get in there with your original colors and then blend it together with that best dang brush and a little bit of water. Keep a slight hand and try and hold your brush closer to the bristles. This is going to give you that little bit more control when you're moving in the circular motion, blending your paint. I wanted to add almost like a faded ghost style stencil. I had some old patina paint that was a little bit crusty in the jar. I knew that if I pushed this through the stencil, what would happen is it would give me a ghost like effect, being true in some spots and then a little bit lighter in others. Let's add a steampunk transfer. I'm a big fan of this transfer and I've created some really great industrial looks. I won't be using the entire piece of transfer today, but just partial bits layered on the front, tops, and sides. You can see me here burnishing the transfer down. They're quite simple to use. Bells and whistles transfers are able to be bent around corners. They can go over top of any form of dry paint and I've even put them on glass surfaces. Using my blue sponge and my clear coat in satin, I sealed the entire table on top of the transfers and the wood you bends. I found this really cool metal style ribbon at a local thrift shop and I wanted to add it to the piece. It's kind of rusty and crusty and it's going to give it a really great industrial feel. I used silver screws to provide some contrast on that ribbon. I added some best dang wax in black to the edges and of course some bronze gilding wax on the top of the wood you bends and the corners. And that's it folks. This is my steampunk makeover.